with their win over Oklahoma State on Tuesday night by a score of 90 to 73. The Red Raiders did something they haven't done since they went to the Final Four in 2018 and 2019. What exactly is that? We'll discuss that plus a game recap in today's video and why the Red Raiders' future is so bright with head coach Grant McCaskill. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's RC Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you haven't already, be sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell. Listen, I look at the stats every week or so here on the channel. And right now, 60% of the people that watch this channel aren't subscribed. What are we doing? We're giving you free, 100% free daily content around your Red Raiders year round, whether that's on the gridiron or the hardwood. We've got you covered with the latest breaking news and everything in between on your favorite Texas Tech teams. So join the fastest growing community and the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube in the Back to 12 podcast channel. Well, by simply hitting that subscribe button. Before we get into today's recap, be sure to like the video if you're just excited about the future with Grant McCaslin as the Texas Tech head men's basketball coach. I mean, he has done a phenomenal job. I get it's two games. I'll preface that. But you can tell there is a ton of buy-in from this team. So if you're excited about the future of Texas Tech men's basketball, simply like the video. Okay, let's get into the recap. That's what you guys are here for. Let's be real about it. Let's jump into it. Texas Tech beats Oklahoma State 90-73. to Yes, you see that score correctly. 90. Wow. Okay, here we go. Let's jump into it. The thing that the Red Raiders did for the first time since their final four season in 2018 and 2019 was they started out Big 12 play 2-0. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is considering how tough of a conference the Big 12 in. Any way you can get a win whenever you can is a big deal in the Big 12. Also, Grant McCaslin is the first first-year Texas Tech head men's basketball coach since Bobby Knight, the late great Bobby Knight, to start out 2-0 in the Big 12. The Red Raiders against Oklahoma State were led by Pop Isaacs with 24 points. He is now averaging north of 17 points per game on the year and is thriving under head coach Grant McCaslin. You've also got all five of your starters, obviously including Pop, in double figures. Your bench only scored seven points, but hey, they were perfect from the field. The in-game adjustments by Grant McCaslin and crew are just fun to watch. After what we experienced as a Texas Tech fan base and guys in the media, whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter. Last year was one of those years where it felt like you were just trying to watch the same thing over and over again and try the same thing over and over again. And you know what they say about trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. I'll leave that to y'all. But Grant McCaslin has made pivotal adjustments and not just him, the coaching staff as well. And last night was really a clear-cut indication of that. They started out, did Oklahoma State, really coming out of the gates. They scored 11 points really quick. They put the Red Raiders down 11-3 to at the first media timeout. And then Texas Tech went on a 29-11 to run to end the first half. They were phenomenal, were the Red Raiders, after that adjustment. And you look at some of the things that they've done at a high level over really the past 11 games, they started the season out really bad shooting wise. Now, over the last 11 games, the Red Raiders are shooting 40% from three as a team with guys like Kerwin Walton, Chance McMillan, and Pop leading the way. Pop Isaacs is shooting nearly 45% from three over the past six games for the Red Raiders. But one thing that really stood out to me last night for Texas Tech was they created more turnovers, and I mean steals, five steals. Then they had turnovers for the entire game, four as a team. That was something that was uh, a little scary to watch if you're a Texas Tech fan in the sense of, okay, are they going to really turn the ball over this much? They have been clean to start Big 12 play. That's not to say that they're going to play like this every game because we know how tough of a conference this is. But right now, you have to be excited about how Texas Tech men's basketball is playing. And that starts with the head man himself and really the foundation he's laying and Grant McCaslin. All right, I'm going to give you all the opportunity to switch your predictions. I know some of y'all's predictions. I see them in the comments. You tell me, how many Big 12 games will Texas Tech win this season? They already got two. You can switch it up a little bit. I'm giving y'all an opportunity to switch up before even game three happens, and we'll talk about who Texas Tech is scheduled to play on Saturday from the Big 12. But let me know down in the comments below, 
How many wins will Texas Tech have in the Big 12 this season? Just, hey, I'm giving you an opportunity to switch it up a little bit. All right, let's talk about the future a little bit with Grant McCaslin. And I want to preface what I'm saying right here. This is not a revolutionary statement. I said Grant McCaslin was the right hire when Texas Tech landed his services in March, right? Right before April Fool's Day. But watching him coach and the staff that he put together, it is the perfect storm for Texas Tech in the sense that what Grant McCaslin has done and from a buy-in standpoint is really something that I wanted to see, and you can clearly see it. I thought maybe it would take a year. Again, it's a new head coach. Some of these guys are his. Some of them aren't, right? That's just college basketball in a nutshell. But the way that he's gotten the buy-in and the way that he has put players in a position to succeed is just mind-boggling to watch from the standpoint of how does every coach in America not do this? And that, not every coach does. You have to understand how special what Grant McCaslin and crew are doing so far with this Texas Tech team. You think about it, the limitations they have in the front court. Outside of Warren Washington, they don't really have any experience. This is a guard-led team. You think about what Joe Tucson is doing. He's averaging five more points per game than he's averaged in any year of his college career. Pop Isaacs is elevating his game even more. Right now, as it stands today, he is averaging six and a half more points per game from his freshman to sophomore season. You think about what Kerwin Walton is doing. He is a productive, invaluable player in the Big 12 after last year where he was borderline unplayable. If you know, you know from that Twitter uh, exchange that we had last year about a certain Texas Tech player. But now he is a pivotal player for Texas Tech. Why? Because Grant McCaslin and crew are not afraid to switch things up and put players in a proper position to succeed. It's mind-boggling. I know. I get it. It's two games. And don't hear what I'm not saying. Texas Tech will not win every Big 12 game. Let's get that out there. But they will compete. And the reason being is this. They will not get out-hustled, and they will not get out-coached. And if you don't get out coached in college basketball, that increases your chances of winning significantly. And you're not going to get out coached when you have a guy like Grant McCaslin. And that's saying something in the Big 12 because you got some Hall of Fame level caliber coaches in this conference, most notably Bill Self. You're not going to get out coached if you're Grant McCaslin in virtually every game. And you may not get out coached in any game. And that is something that you seriously could not say last year for Texas Tech. Now, moving forward, you can say that comfortably because you can see what Grant McCaslin and crew are doing from a foundational standpoint. And it feels like they're growing on that foundation very, very quickly with some of the really elevated play you're seeing from guys like Warren Washington, who is doing better than he's ever done before in college basketball. Joe Tucson, I already mentioned what he's doing. Pop Isaacs, Chance McMillan making a jump from Grand Canyon to Texas Tech has been a pivotal player for the Red Raiders in terms of his athleticism in the Texas Tech backcourt, not to mention his shooting ability. Kerwin Walton, Darion Williams, the guy that just is solid at everything, right? He is a Mr. Do-it-all. You're back up five in a lot of ways in terms of when you go small ball. Their lineups that Texas Tech is using and the way that they are using them in terms of putting guys in a position to succeed, primarily Joe Tucson and Pop Isaacs. That is a dynamic backcourt, and it just works perfectly for the way that Texas Tech needs to operate. And it allows Joe Tucson to get the most out of his game, as well as Pop Isaacs. And as those two go, the Red Raiders go. It's that simple. And right now, Grant McCaslin and crew have done a phenomenal job at just executing game plans, making adjustments, but most importantly, putting players in a position to succeed because Lyle has said it the most about football in here, but I'll say it about basketball. You can only do so much coaching. It comes down to the Jimmies and the Joes on the court to make plays. And Texas Tech is in the proper position to do that now with a guy like Brent McCaslin leading the way. All right, next up for Texas Tech men's basketball will be a Saturday matinee game against the Kansas State fighting Jerome Tanks, aka the Wildcats. Tip-off is set for 3 p.m., and you can watch the game on ESPN2. Texas Tech looking to go 3-0 in the Big 12. That would go a mighty long way in terms of them potentially being ranked next week. Don't really care about that, but really, really solidifying themselves as off the bubble and having a much better chance 
to make the NCAA tournament. One more time, if you are excited about the job that Grant McCaslin and crew are doing and just the future of Texas Tech men's basketball with him at the helm, like the video. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long on a channel that's 100% free. Oh, and did I mention it's the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube in the Back to 12 podcast channel.